do we think that the government knows of the extraterrestrial presence well, and that some... they have been have been hiding it from from the public? And if so, why, given this particular uh, dire situation that we're in? Well, I can you... see why, because they don't want to panic the public, saying that 90% of you are going to be dead from some Holocaust situation. But wouldn't, wouldn't, the, wouldn't the acknowledgement of the extraterrestrial presence give, give a, a lot of people some hope that we might have uh, friends in higher places with much more well, technology you know, at their disposal maybe, than we listen, are listen, that may be able to help us out of this mess Maybe, but without but the, wiping out 90% of the human okay. population? Well, the problem is this now. Edgar Mitchell, who's kind of... Remember, Ed, Edgar Mitchell had been to the moon, astronaut, close friend of George Bush Sr., the first George Bush president, uh, has said that he thinks... Also at Esalen. Also, said, well, yeah. I, I, met, I met him back in 73. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. part, he's uh, part of the whole high stranger scenario. But he has said that these ETs who are visiting us are only like 100 years ahead of us in technology, which means they're not... They may have stargates, they may have space travel and time travel, but right. they may not be... Yeah, look at where not, we've gotten in 100 years. Yeah, and, but they may, not have, they may not have the power to save... You know, the six to nine billion people are going to be around here. They may be only able to save uh, 10%. See, so that could be why. And, and if that's the situation, that's a very good reason for the government to keep quiet about it. Yeah, yeah that everybody's, even the, the ETs, if, if they exist, are, are waiting for God, are waiting for the... Oh, uh, so that's the another signal. possible. We waiting, don't know. Everybody's don't know. waiting on everybody else. Everybody's waiting on everybody else, yes. And... and um, um, now the but, other, but yeah. if so, um, but see, it's all a question of the timing. Yes. And if there's going to be this intervention, you there are two things you want to minimize the the drama of it, the the, the uh, potential for chaos, but yeah. you also want to delay it. Yeah. So there is a kind of brinksmanship. That's going on at all levels. Let's also levels. remember, though, the financial meltdown we're in and the worldwide recession that we almost had, well, and we're still not out of the woods on that. And that's part of the timing. And, yeah. That 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 we are, uh, we are uh, approaching this this uh, precipice or the, this yeah brick well, wall. We're pretty much at over the edge. where we've oh, we're yeah, pretty we're much right. at the edge of the abyss. Or right we may now. be uh, out over the. You know, yeah, out over the cliff It's like already. that cartoon, you know, where he's he's the, out the, there. What's the roadrunner thing? Road thing? Yeah, yes, the roadrunner right. thing. Yes, the roadrunner thing. Yes. And um, and so now it appears now Jack has just been on coast to coast, and and it appears that maybe now it's my turn to go on coast to coast, and I'm saying a part of it, I'm saying. You know, Jack, maybe we should work together. Yeah, all right. Well, this, I'm open to it. It's up, that's up to this broadcast. That's up to George Knapp and, and, and well, so that well, you we know, can, this is this is a pretty bleak scenario you're presenting yes, it's, it's here. It's I mean, bleak. do it's we bleak. have any hope? Is there any hope? Well, Where's the, there's is, always a glimmer. Yeah. I mean, there's always it, a glimmer. It, it, it's, well, a, it's an if, awful if thing to contemplate. There is a, a that, spiritual, the, you know, a, a a common spiritual awakening. That um, if if um, you know, we all get on the same page, both you know, technologically, uh, both physically and metaphysically. If if we're uh, cooperating and and we all realize we're in the same boat in terms of this, our destiny, that we're destined to, you know, be together at the end. Then, then yes, then I think there is a. Um, I, I think we can. People can wake up, and. But and that's not going to change like, the. That's not going to change the ultimate uh, outcome, is it? Well, well, what is? You know, well, what do you uh, think well, is the ultimate, the ultimate outcome, outcome? Is that a, is that a bunch of people leave this plane? Yeah. And yeah, in probably right. in not in not pleasant circumstances. Well, no, it doesn't. It could, you know, I mean, it, it could be, um, you know, there's no reason we can't do what has to be done in the best possible way, which, which could be that we all... In other words, we should just, all, we should all just uh, hunker down and no, meditate and pray no, and... No, we and, don't and, hunker and, down, but that and, we get... And, and prepare for our, our ultimate fate. We uh, get I mean, very serious about going from a, a competitive mode into a cooperative 
mode, and that's not going to happen unless there is a spiritual awakening. Uh, uh, yeah, awakening. Uh, what do you call it? A revelation or a and, and all the rest of it. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you. That would be the only way uh, it could happen, but I think it's very unlikely that that will happen uh, in terms of the uh, vast majority of the people now alive on this planet. Well, but if... Then we have if, a strong criminal element. There are a lot of people... I mean, yeah. There's, there's a lot see, of nasty yeah, people why, out there. They're not going to well, be spiritually okay. transformed. They're, they're all, all the spiritual traditions are in their different spiritual corners about you know, who's going to be saved and who's going to be damned. Yeah. And they all think that they're going to be saved, and everybody else well, is what going about, to be damned. Well, I'll, and, let's try this one on for size. What if, what if, what if there were extraterrestrials out there and who've been visiting us and, and, and tampering with our evolution for millions of years? And what if they just finally decided to lay down the law and to eliminate nuclear weapons and to eliminate? the means that we have developed ourselves to annihilate one another and destroy the, the ecosystem and basically destroy human civilization. Now, I, I don't think I would have that much of a problem with it because, you know, unless they're here to eat us or if they're going to turn us into slaves, um, but I, I just don't see that All happening. possible scenarios, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah well, right. I'm not going to deny that that, yeah. that you know... Yeah, but so, see, so that, that's a the problem. The question is, if you're looking for the for the yeah. for the for the extraterrestrial saviors, right. um, that's the only way I could see them practically doing it, you know, and, and without us rebelling, you know, we're doing it for your own good. We're 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 going to neutralize all your nuclear weapons. There's not going to be any more nuclear weapons on the planet. Well, they're also biological and, weapons. And we're going to be out here. We're going to try not to uh, intervene and interfere with your society, but we're not going to let you destroy yourselves. Well, yeah, the only motive for them uh, doing that would be if they descend from us and it's a time loop. So we have to be around in order for them to come into existence. It's, it's the Igor Novikov. You don't think that they could not be related to us and just do it out of altruistic, uh, uh, you know? I, I, it's uh, always anything's possible. I would say it's unlikely. Positive reasons? I would yeah. say it's unlikely because we're dangerous. If they're not related to us, if they don't have their own uh, motive of self-preservation, the chances are they'll want to destroy us. Look what we would do. I mean, they would look what we have know, done. That's, in that's, pro that's the problem. I, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, my, from my perspective, is that if it's just ETs and this is just, you know, part of cosmic politics, then they're a day late and a dollar short. If they were going to do this Agreed. intervention, Agreed, yeah. they should have done it at least a hundred years ago. They should have done it before Hitler. Yeah, mm -hmm. right, unless, right, unless, right. Unless, unless Hitler was part of a of a, a plan of a plan, a plan which doesn't sound too good. Not a good plan. No, yeah, not a good plan. No. Don't forget Stalin. No. Don't forget I Pol Pot. Yeah, I know. Don't forget I know. Uh, Ford. I mean, don't forget all all the genocide Bosnia. Just the history all, of the 20th don't forget century. The Middle East. <laughs> what's happening in the Middle East today? Look at the killing each other in Iraq and in Afghanistan. All, right. all that all stuff. Right. It doesn't look good. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it looks good. Well, then, then we get in the whole problem of Voltaire versus Leibniz, of you know, what's the best possible world. I would say, okay, here I would say, uh, okay, I'm Voltaire, you are Leibniz. Right. I would say the evidence points that we live in the worst of all possible worlds. You say it's the best. I don't see how anybody well, thinks it's the best of all possible worlds. Well, it's, I, I, it's an extreme, yeah. but it's the worst. We're like prison planet. All right. It's like hell world. All right. It's like escape from L.A. What? One, One minute. minute left, gentlemen. Okay. Oh, then what? You have and to change the film? Yeah, all right, all right. and that's a good time oh, to stop. Uh, and I feel like all Snake right. Blister and right. Escape yeah, from this is good. <laughs> leave, the, leave them hanging here. And don't leave them hanging. But you know, I agree. Uh, I agree. Uh, that yeah. Dan's scenario is the only hopeful one. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, the shake on that. Yeah, shake right. Well, I, yeah, I have no problem with, with being spiritually awakened and aware. And I, I think I feel it sometimes. It's just that I feel helpless. I don't see how to, how to, how to, how to affect that change. Um, you right. can't do it right. forcibly. So you're you're our test case. We'll we'll see if we can we'll see if we can get Kim to. I mean, having having free, having 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 cheap, well, I'm safe, I'm clean I'm energy I'm technology would go a long way. You know, having yeah. the new energy yeah. technology, well, we, having no, starships to explore yeah. other star yeah. systems would yeah. be nice. Yeah. I don't know if we'd be allowed to do that, given our our violent history here on this planet. Well, listen, we, all we Not, do is try, yeah, and yeah. we're trying. On the physics end, we're trying. We're working on zero-point energy devices yeah. like the Heche modal patent. We're trying to uh, figure out how wormhole time and, travel yeah. works. We're doing all that. We're doing what and we can. And the three of us seem to agree that the physics alone is not... We no. don't live by bread alone. No, we, don't we don't live the, by physics alone. Yeah, we no. also need the metaphysics. Yes. At the end, 
Go ahead. Perfect. Let's go for a walk.